Monday morning. Now to an investigation that has spanned from Montgomery County to the district. The search for a stolen car led to a police chase and ended with three people shot. The officer involved shooting happened overnight on Bladensburg Road near New York Avenue in Northeast. Hatzavela was at the scene and he has an exclusive interview with the owner of the stolen car. Here it is. It feels like I'm watching something on TV. Martha DePel still cannot believe it happened right in her driveway. Her husband had just gone inside their Chevy Chase home. Car was running. She had stayed inside because she wanted to finish listening to a story on the radio. Suddenly the driver's side door opens quickly and this man jumps in and points a gun at me and starts going, get out, get out. For a second, she thought she could take up with her purse, but says the armed man did not let her. He grabbed the other strap of the purse and so there was this very brief one second tug of war and thought to myself, I'm not going to win this battle, so I just got out of the car and ran to my front door. It was a brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee that was taken. That same car that after a short chase ends up crashing near Bladensburg Road in Northeast DC. <coughs> Police say they try to stop the driver, but the driver didn't stop. So they start chasing the driver until there's a crash. Uh, the officer engaged uh, the passengers of the vehicle. Uh, there were shots fired. Police would not say who fired first or how many shots were fired, only that three people inside the car were shot and rushed to the hospital. Investigators say they recovered a handgun from inside the car. Back in Chevy Chase, a reminder to always be aware of your surroundings. Certainly unfamiliar for, for this area. John Hanley lives across the way and says he was in his kitchen at around 10 last night when the armed carjacking happened. He never heard or saw anything. My first experience was something like this. Says there's been an uptick in some minor criminal activity, but nothing this brazen. Hopefully whatever uh, has uh, led to this uh, won't occur again.